The VSRAT is a UL listed and FM approved flow switch that incorporates an electronic retard with a small motor and proprietary software that allows it to conduct an automatic water flow test without flowing water. The VSRAT requires 24 volt DC to operate and can typically be powered by the auxiliary power of the fire alarm panel or any UL listed power supply that provides sufficient battery backup. The device draws 20 milliamps in standby mode and 120 milliamps when in the auto test process. The power connects to the two terminals located on the far right of the PC board, black to negative and red to positive. The next terminals are for the ATC test switch. The blue wire from the ATC goes to the terminal marked switch. The orange wire from the ATC goes to the terminal marked LED. This is to light the status LED in the ATC test switch. The black wire from the ATC goes to the terminal marked ground. The next terminals are for the water flow zone of the fire panel or addressable contact module. This is a three terminal connection because the device contains a failsafe trouble relay that will drop out and open up on a loss of power and create a trouble condition on the fire alarm panel. The two wires from the fire alarm panel or addressable module connect to the terminals marked C and NO. The end of line resistor from the panel connects to the terminals where the resistor symbol is shown on the board, the C terminal and the one immediately to the right of it. The last two terminals on the left are a set of normally open dry contacts. These will typically be used to operate a local bell. These are just open switch contacts. Do not connect power directly to them. They can be used to switch power through them to operate a bell, just like a light switch is used to switch power to a light. For example, if you're going to connect a 120 volt bell, you would connect the black hot wire from the AC service panel to the normally open terminal. The common terminal would be the switched output and it would connect to the black wire on the bell. The white neutral wire from the service panel does not get connected to the flow switch at all. It goes straight to the white wire on the bell. There is a rotary switch on the lower right corner of the circuit board. This is used to set the retard time. The settings are in 10 second increments from 0 to 90 seconds. The auto test feature is initiated by turning the key on the ATC test switch and then pressing the button. After a successful test, the VSRAT will go into alarm for a few seconds to activate the local notification appliance as well as the fire alarm panel. The LED on the test switch would go out. If there was no water in the pipe or if the paddle was missing from the device, this would be an unsuccessful test and would be indicated by a rapidly flashing LED on the test switch and the water flow zone on the fire panel would be put into trouble condition. The VSRAT can be used with any fire alarm panel. The auto test feature can be initiated by the optional ATC test switch or any listed fire alarm relay, allowing for easy operation with any addressable fire alarm system. The Potter ATC provides a key operated switch to prevent unwanted activation as well as an LED to indicate the status of the VSR AT. If you have further questions about any of our products, please contact our tech support team by calling 866-956-0988 or emailing tech at pottersignal.com.